Now today we're looking at one of these, a radiator fan switch. Now around a year ago, I did a video regarding on how to locate this, remove it from the radiator, and test it at home. Using a mini blowtorch, you can boil some water. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. But today is a little bit different. Let me explain what happened to me. So I just had the vehicle out today and on the left hand side we have the temperature gauge. And as you can see here, this is a shot I took earlier today and we have three bars. This is a happy medium for most vehicles, right smack in the middle. But what started to happen as I drove along, I was getting a fourth bar. And it was going back and forth between four bars and three bars. So I quickly pulled over. Once I saw four bars, it made me really nervous. So I pulled over and I realized that the cooling fans were not even spinning. And you'll see in a moment, on top here, the right hand or the passenger side fan is constricted. You can't see it. But from underneath, we have two cooling fans like most modern vehicles. And the fans just weren't kicking. They're just not spinning. Now fortunately it's winter time, it's 20 degrees outside and as I was driving the cool air is cooling down the engine. But I suspect we have a problem with this guy right here. So let me show you where it's located. So underneath the vehicle of course we have the radiator. This is the passenger side fan, this is the driver side cooling fan. Lower radiator hose and then right here. This is our guy, the radiator fan switch. Okay, this is just an extra one I have. I'm assuming this is no longer good because on the end, as you can see, this senses the temperature of the coolant. And once it hits around 200 degrees Fahrenheit, it sends a signal to the car's computer to say, hey, I'm warming up, turn on the fans, and that's what's happening. So I'm just disconnecting this harness connector now to bypass this switch, I just have a jumper wire. Something I purchased off Amazon years ago. As always, I'll have links in the description box below. The other thing you'll need is either a paper clip cut in half or if you have any of these test probe kits. These are really nice to have. It's well worth maybe 10 bucks they go for. These are terrific. Comes in a really nice kit. So if you take a look at the harness connector, we have two metal prongs. So that's where you're going to insert your paper clips, or your paper clip, I should say, or, again, these probe kits. Absolutely wonderful. Really, really nice. Paper clips could be a little fussy sometimes. Okay. So this is ready to rock and roll. So now we need to turn on the ignition key. And then with the jumper wire, attaching one to black or one to your first paper clip, and then just touch the other one, or the red lead in this case, and the fans should turn on. Okay. Here's one more angle. Here we go. Now two things very quickly. You may be thinking maybe the coolant just wasn't warm enough. Now I know it was because I was hitting four bars which I know on this vehicle is too hot. But another way you can really double check that is with a code reader that's able to obtain data streaming. I always show this thing, uh, this code reader. It's 50 bucks off Amazon. Really nice thing to have because now I can dig up the temperature of the coolant. So in other words, if this car was running right now, we can see the coolant temperature as the car is running. So right now it's cold. It's only 21 degrees Celsius. So it's very, very cold. But once this hits around 94, 95, 96, which is 200 degrees Fahrenheit, those fans should kick on. And they're just not. Nothing's happening. So in my case, I need to replace the radiator fan switch. And to be honest, it took longer to jack up this vehicle than it was to diagnose if I have a problem with the switch. So it's very, very fast, very, very easy. And if you need a guide on how to replace it and bleed the coolant system, I'll include a cooling help playlist in the description box below. It's helped 
well over a million people. So if you need a guide, just check that out. And as always, thank you for watching.